Dave. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here at Qualcomm Snapdragon Summit 2024 with Guillermo from Qualcomm, who has a little bit of an AV comparison versus previous gen Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Snapdragon 8 Elite. What do you got going on here? Yeah, we're talking about uh, web browser performance. So we have a speedometer 3 running here, demonstrating how much faster the new, the new Snapdragon 8 Elite is in comparison to last year's. So let's run the test here. Right, so that's performing a bunch of web operations, JavaScript. Yep. Um, All progressive web app stuff that everybody uses every day. There you go. This is done already. The, the Snapdragon 8 Elite is done. Gen 3 is still going on the left. Oh, it is on the shelf. And, wow, almost double the performance. Good stuff. Hey, thanks, oh, Guillermo. Thank you. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with Matthew Grossman from Qualcomm, and we are at Snapdragon Summit in Maui 2024, looking at the new Snapdragon 8 Elite and some interesting new capabilities it has in the realm of gaming. Matthew, what do you got? For us, we have four demonstrations that we're going to take you through today. The first being our Nanite demonstration. So with Unreal 5.3, Snapdragon 8 Elite will be the first mobile platform to fully support the console rendering pipeline for Nanite. All right. This demo for me is super important because we're able to see two things. And one, that on device, we are completely rendering this environment. So you're able to see 3D quality environments directly rendered on your mobile devices. Second, when you're taking a look at this environment, we're able to drill down a layer deeper and showcase the geometric complexity that our designers in Snapdragon Studio have put in place. And in the figure of, uh, you know, in this in the realm of eight figures, showcase the geometric complexity of these rendered environments. Wow, good stuff. Second, just going to highlight our partnership with Feral Interactive. This is Grid Legends, a game that uh, launched on consoles in 2022 and will be coming to mobile this December 2024. In partnership with this team, Snapdragon 8 Elite gamers will have exclusive access to our Qualcomm Adaptive Performance Engine 4.0 feature, mm -hmm. which is a game thread optimizing strategy tool that effectively provides proactive thermals to the developers, enabling longer and more consistent performance. When you're porting something like a console level game to mobile, our priority in working with our partners is just making sure that players can stay in the race and not lose battery life. All right. Oh. Final, uh, we are also highlighting Crafton's Dark and Darker. They have adopted our Snapdragon game super resolution tool. This is a temporal upscaler that is able to take 1080p uh, source images and upscale them up to 8K. Wow. We're able to either mirror these experiences to larger formats or provide significant power savings for developers. Cool. Finally, highlighting the uh, AI prioritization tool. So with our X85 G mode, we're able to leverage AI to automatically detect when people are playing games. This enables us to accelerate the most. It able, uh, enables us to prioritize their connectivity for multiplayer games, lowering latency and improving response. So it's actually detecting when you're, you're game Gaming and it's a prioritizing gaming traffic in packets. Yes, correct. Interesting stuff. QoS on the fly. Snapdragon 8 Elite. Matthew, thanks very much, bud. Thank you so much for dropping by. First out the gate is Cubase, and so we have Dom here, who is uh, does tons of music mixing uh, for the past few decades, albums, um, and who's an amazing, talented keyboardist and everythingist you'll see in a moment. And Cooper Carter, uh, one he designs guitar tones with the world's best bands. Uh, he'll tell you about it in seriously. And, no, okay. and, uh, and he's also a, a virtuoso guitar player, so he's going to blow your mind. But um, they're going to showcase the ASIO driver that has been um, developed by Steinberg and Yamaha uh, that's coming to Windows that allows you to capture in real t uh, in low latency real time with instruments as well as digital audio workstations. And what they're showcasing on top of that is. I'm not sure if you guys know, but modern music is often performed through uh, PCs as well as recorded through PCs, and you can now make digital replications of tens of thousands of dollars worth of guitar and keyboard equipment. So, Dom, you man, why don't you show them what you can do in Cubase, which is coming this week in preview to Snapdragon. Hey, hello everyone. Has anyone heard about Cubase before over here? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. So, 
Uh, if you don't know what Cubase is, it's a digital audio workstation, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's heavily used, uh, especially in Hollywood place. when you know they create the scores for movies, so like Hollywood movies. Uh, if you do a little bit of research, you will find that Cubase is behind many, many different scores and music for films, but also pop music. It's all over the place. So what we have here is Cubase 13, and this works natively on Snapdragon now. That's the big news. And that's huge news because uh, we have native version of Cubase, but also Hylian Sonic, Retrolog, Nuendo, um, Hylian 7, and also Groove And These are instruments that you can run natively now on Snapdragon computers. And that means that you get all the advantages of like super quiet performance, which is very important for musicians. Very low latency because now there's also a Yamaha Steinberg driver that allows you to use my interface right here to play with very, very low latency. And that's very important for musicians because when you play a key on a keyboard or when you, or you have a singer performing, latency can really ruin their performance. They can ruin their vibe. And if you're a musician or if you're a music producer, you've lost a client. And it's very serious. So I'm going to show you something that uh, I prepared here. This is like a Highland Sonic instance that again runs natively. And I have loaded a full orchestra. Violins, violas, cello, basses, horns, trombones, trumpets, flutes, timpanis, all in one patch. And that really stresses computers out. But I can do stuff like this. <laughs> Because that means I can play all these instruments in real time and the computer doesn't even care. There are, what you would normally get in this kind of situation would be pops, clicks, interruptions. I would have to stop performing. Uh, and that's really devastating for a musician. But you can do all these things right now and I'm under this heat, right? So that's for computers is not a good thing. Uh, especially for uh, people that perform live, you know, musicians. You need something that's reliable that you can play, and I've been here all day. <laughs> so uh, let me show you what else. I have like a full track here. And this is the mixer, right? So here I can just adjust the level of all the instruments. So for example, I have my bass here. all these instruments in real time again so if I want for example to play this vocal sample that you hear again I'm gonna do something different let's go with this one so this is like a vocal sample that I've chopped and I have turned it into an instrument but it's actually a vocal sample right uh, and this is uh, like a very very uh, you know popular technique uh, when you're producing like pop music these days it's all about samples and uh, all these things but I can just as easily just load up our Groove Agent instrument, again natively, it works in, on uh, Snapdragons, and I can play the drums. Again, Bravo. it's super critical to have low latency because now if I if there's like a tiny bit of delay when I press that key and my kick drum comes later, I cannot play. I'm going to lose my groove straight away. Um, uh, I'll play the pad now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna play the okay. pad. Um, another. Do you want to do a solo or should I? Uh, <laughs> let's, 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 and then let's play the orchestral. Yeah. yeah. Now just play. What do you key you give me for the pad? Yeah. Let's let's uh, let's play the A minor or something yeah, like this. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, actually, no, let's go C minor so okay, we can and then we'll just right transition. Yeah. Uh, so, this is again, this is a synthesizer. Have, you, right, have you ever tried a synthesizer? Have you ever played a synthesizer? This allows you to create any sound from Blade Runner to all these modern sounds that you hear on the, on the radio today. Uh, I, I have a very complex pad here that uses so many waveforms, and it sounds like this.
Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs>